Am I on? Yeah, you're on. All right, so this is my integrated science class, fifth period, 2015-16. And they're a great group of students, freshmen. Um, we've studied chemistry and physics and technologies and earth science. And the last chapter in our earth science is how to use resources. And we know that uh, fossil fuels are on their way out and we need something else. And so they looked up several different alternatives. Uh, Megan Rose looked with her group at biomass. And Jeremiah Gower looked with his group at geothermal. And Tony Rainey looked with her group at using hydrogen fuel cells, which I myself think is a big way of the future for us. Uh, Hedo Zacharias looked at hydroelectric with his group. We got Kyle Van Dam looked at nuclear. I mean, our destroyers and aircraft carriers and subs have them. Why couldn't the city have one? even on the coast. And Jaden Ben looked at solar. Of course, that's a very popular one. Not so great on the coast, but getting better. The Germans have found a way to get good electricity from even cloudy days. Um, Kaylee Christensen uh, looked at tidal, how we might be able to do tidal uh, energy here. Jasmine Reyes, looked at wave energy. Now that's a real popular one around here right now. I know OSU is doing a lot of work on it. And there's stuff out on uh, Facebook and the internet just recently about Denmark working on that. And the last one we have is wind energy and that's by Miguel. I think that's the only one I don't have in my computer right now. But I would like you to get up and tell them who you are and uh, how interested you are in this topic. And I will give you this little list. And I will pass around on taking attendance and the like while you're doing that. All right. Well, thanks for having me, having me here. My name is uh, Don Williams. I'm mayor of Lincoln City. Um, I, I didn't come prepared to speak. I came prepared to watch. Um, but Mr. Asmussen always throws me a little curve each time I show up for your classes. Um, what you're studying is the future of our country, okay? This country was built on energy. Uh, the ability to move freely about th this country and, and in between other countries uh, is one of the, arguably one of the most important stepping stones for us in achieving what we've achieved, okay? The ability to move freely, the ability to uh, be free within your own home, and that comes from energy. You don't depend on someone to deliver your wood every day. You just turn on a light and there's the electricity. You don't have to uh, uh, use the community outhouse. You have a bathroom to use. And again, it's one of those things you can take for granted real easily, but try losing it for a few days and, and you'll appreciate what you're doing here. Each one of these uh, that you're gonna be discussing in front of us today are, are, are great, great alternatives. And I think the thing to remember is as you pursue these, and if you do pursue them beyond uh, you know, this class and into your future, each one of these can be a great component for, again, more individual freedom. We're looking more and more, instead of a, a giant network of energy like we're used to, going to smaller grids so that we can integrate the biomass in one town and solar in another, and then start finding ways to share that information or uh, that uh, that energy. Um, I don't have a lot more to say. Uh, do you need me to advance for a whole lot longer? Here? No, okay. no. I, I'm going to go ahead and start calling. So I'm missing JJ right now. Right? You can turn that off. All right. JJ.